Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel and today guys we are going to be continuing our AFL 2022 round previews. So another big video coming up on the channel in this video. Uh, we're going to be previewing round 9 and another big round of footy coming up uh, in the AFL. Big round. There's some really interesting contests in here uh, and of course the winner We'll get those extra four points, which go a long way for sure. So, some big games coming up. So, let's go ahead, not waste any time. Go ahead, hop right into things. So, we, we start off with Collingwood versus Western Bulldogs on the Friday night. And I'll tell you, it's probably the best game of the round. Um, Yes, there's probably, yes, there will be some other games that are good as well. But this one may just take the cake for being the best game of the round. And it's on the Friday night. Couldn't have really made it any more perfect than this. Now... Collingwood, Western Bulldogs, they both can be very unpredictable teams. So um, it was quite hard to pick a winner. Uh, I did pick the Western Bulldogs, I said, by 13 points. I wouldn't be surprised if Collingwood were to win this one, to be completely honest. Would not be surprised. Either team to win, I would say. I wouldn't be surprised whoever wins. Wouldn't be surprised if it was a blowout. I actually wouldn't be surprised with any result, to be completely honest. I just wouldn't be surprised. I feel like these two teams do have the potentiality of making it a smashing for sure, uh, but I just feel like I feel like it's going to be close, but even if it is a smashing, I, I still don't. I, I still just don't think I'd be surprised. Um, but yeah, the winner. Now we'll talk about the winner. So the Collingwood are already four points ahead of the Western Bulldogs, so they win this game. They will go ahead by a fair margin, and that'll really put a dent in the dog season, I'll tell you that, if Collingwood were to win, if the dogs were to win, though, they catch up to the pies, and um, are right there, so the winner is big in this game, I've said the dogs, but again, wouldn't be surprised whoever wins this game, Hawthorne Richmond starts off the Saturday, now Hawthorne have been quite unpredictable this year, beaten Geelong, lost to Essendon, so again, don't know where the team is at, and Richmond's Again, they've also been unpredictable as well, but I feel like they've been a little bit more unpredictable in maybe a better way than the Hawks. Um, but the Hawks have still been unpredictable in a good way by getting close and winning some of those harder games. So I feel like I would be a little bit surprised if the Hawks were to win, but again, they've, they've probably obviously tried to fine-tune their game after last week's devastating loss to the Bombers who didn't even have their full team. So they'll be they'll be hard. They'll be ready to bounce back after a, a tough loss. And the Tigers, their win against the Pies was amazing. They uh, had everything in it. Um, and they'll be looking to win again at the MCG. Um, they'll be looking to win again against the Hawthorne team. So again, I feel like would be I would be surprised if the Hawks were to win. I've said the Tigers by, I think it was... 32 points, so again, margin, yeah, not sure, but yeah, I've said the, the Tigers in a bit of a big win just because of what they've been able to do to the Pies, so I feel like they'll get the job done convincingly. North Melbourne versus Port Adelaide at Blunston Arena. North, they're not a chance in this game. I do not see them being a chance. Yes, it may be Blunston, but that just doesn't change it for me. Now, they actually weren't too bad at Blunston Arena last year, but again, that that's last year. This year, um, I mean, they weren't the best down there, but they, they played a little bit okay down there last year. But I feel like this year their their story's just gotten even worse, um, and they're just coming off of a huge loss to the Dockers. Port Adelaide, four wins on the trot. This will be number five if they were to nail it. Oh, boy. That'd be... Um, sorry, would this be number four? I think this might be number four if they were to nail it, perhaps. Hang on, let me check. Sorry, so if Port Adelaide were to win, this would be number four. I was thinking, yeah, five is getting a little bit ahead. But, yeah, this would be number four if Port Adelaide were meant to. If they win this game, that'll, they'll move to four in a row, which would be something truly mind-blowing. And I definitely feel like they'll be able to get the job done. Not just the job done, they'll be able to do it by a hefty margin as well. North Melbourne just aren't great right now. And this is a big win for Port Adelaide coming up. Uh, that's how I feel. I, I just don't feel like North Melbourne will compete. I've said Port Adelaide by oh, over 40 points to win the game. So quite a blowout. Uh, I just don't see North Melbourne being much of a chance. St Kilda versus Geelong at Marvel Stadium. Another big game coming up. Another really important contest of the round. Um, and look, I do see this one being 50-50. But I do have the Cats being slightly... Uh, higher than the Saints. The Saints, their form in the past few weeks have been, no, not great. 
They lost to Port Adelaide by a point at Kazali's. They got uh, thumped by the Demons. Yes, may not have been the two easiest teams to play in the last few weeks, but they just haven't been the old Saints that they were between rounds two and uh, six uh, in that five-game span. So, yeah, um, in, in that five-game winning streak. So, yeah, they've gone off-road a little bit. The Saints, the Cats, they've been on the road. They've well, they've been like on the road in that, like not on the road quite literally, but on, in the saying, they've they've stuck on the road and they've done a fantastic job. They've been very good, uh, and yeah, if uh, Cameron doesn't if Cameron doesn't get you in the forward line, it'll be Hawkins. Stengel's been good down there, so I see the Cats taking this game out, and I've actually said them by quite a convincing margin as well. Um, so yeah, um, I feel like the Cats will just be the better team. They'll show their class and they'll get over the Saints comfortably. Um, Sydney versus Essendon SCG. Now, I have said the Swans by a bit of a margin in this game. We'll jump straight to this. Essendon, they are a tiny chance. I see them being a tiny chance. Just a tiny chance. I feel like uh, Sydney, I would be surprised if the Bombers were to win. Yes, it may be close. Uh, their past encounters suggest that it'll be close. But I feel like Sydney have this one. I feel like they've got it convincingly, comfortably confidently I feel like they will win this game by a margin by quite a decent margin I think I've said them by I think it was something around 20 maybe or something like that I just feel like it's going to be more than a kick of the footy anyway uh these games have been a kick of the footy just under just over in the past I feel like it's going to be a little bit more than that this year, and I feel like the Swans will have this game. They are coming off of a disappointing loss to Gold Coast, but they will try and fix it up. I just feel like Essen in a way, I just don't feel like they'll be able to get the job done. But last week's last week's performance versus Hawthorne was good and maybe promising. Adelaide versus Brisbane at the Adelaide Oval. Adelaide, their past two weeks haven't been great. They lost to the Giants at this very ground, so I don't see them beating the Lions at all. Be very surprised if they were to get over the line. It'd be probably one of the upsets of the year if it was to happen. Brisbane, their list is in great shape right now, and they are hard to beat. They had a brilliant win against Sydney at the SCG on the road, um, and, yeah, they've just been great this year. So I feel like they'll be hard to beat in this one, and I feel like they'll win it very convincingly. Um, and I've said by, I think it was just under a 50 point margin. I think I've said the Lions by about 46 or something like that. Um, but yeah, I feel like they've got this game quite comfortably, uh, in their hands right now. Gold Coast versus Fremantle at, uh, at Magicon Stadium. Gold Coast, I just, I, even though their win versus Sydney was good, I'm just, I just don't think they can beat the Dockers. The Dockers, they have been... One of the best teams all year, uh, really strong, and uh, yeah, I just don't see the Suns beating the Dockers at all. The Dockers, they've had a great year, and their year just keeps on getting better and better and better. They're only lost being versus St Kilda in round two, which they could have won that game, so they could be they could be eight no right now, really. Um, of course they're seven and one, but yeah, they've been a great team this year, one of the harder teams to beat, uh, and I feel like they will win this game as well. Um. But again, quite a comfortable margin. GWS versus Carlton at Giants Stadium. Could GWS pull something out of the hat and win? Don't think so. I feel like the Blues will just be too strong. They're coming off of a 50-point win versus North Melbourne and then a 48-point win versus Adelaide. They're just going to be too hard to beat, I reckon. Carlton, they are right back into the good shape they were earlier in the year. Yes, they may have had two easy opponents at home, but still... I still feel like those they they smashed them both by a pretty decent margin. So Carlton, they are going to be hard to beat in this game. I don't see the Giants um facing up enough to beat them. So I feel like the Blues will get the job done. Um convincingly, I feel like the Giants will compete, but I just feel like the Blues will just be too strong in the end and uh walk away with a decent kind of win. West Coast versus Melbourne, nothing to say about this game. 18th versus 1st, Melbourne will smash the Eagles. Melbourne, they are the best team in the competition right now. They are the hardest team to beat. They beat the the Saints, uh, one of the top eight teams, by 38 last week. So I feel like this definitely has the potentiality of being a 100-plus point blowout at Optus Stadium. And Melbourne, they are the team that could definitely produce that um, sort of blowout at Optus Stadium. So I feel like they will win by a lot. Um, so, 
let's just go back and have a recap. Collingwood are ninth on the ladder. Bulldogs are 10th. I've said the Dogs. Hawthorne are 12th on the ladder. Richmond are 8th. I've said the Tigers. Um, North Melbourne are 17th on the ladder. Port Adelaide are 11th on the ladder. I've said the Power. St Kilda is 7th on the ladder. Uh, Geelong are 5th on the ladder. And I've said Geelong. Sydney is 6th on the ladder. Essendon is 16th on the ladder. And I have said Sydney. Adelaide are 14th on the ladder. Brisbane are 3rd on the ladder. And I have said Brisbane. Um, Gold Coast are 13th on the ladder. 2nd are Fremantle. I've said Fremantle. GWS are 15th on the ladder. Carlton are 4th. I've said Carlton. And West Coast are 18th on the ladder. Melbourne are 1st. I've said Melbourne. So going back over my tips again. Western Bulldogs. Richmond. Uh, Port Adelaide. Uh, Geelong. Sydney, Brisbane, Fremantle, Carlton, and Melbourne. I've tipped all the away teams this round except Sydney. So that is crazy. So I've said all the away teams. But, of course, some teams like Richmond still do. The Western Moors still do have their home grounds at this game. But it's just class as an away game. Um, but, yeah, massive round of footy coming up. You guys can let me know who you think wins in the comments section. Um but, yeah, I still do feel like game of the round will be Collingwood versus Western Bulldogs. So, we've still got a little bit of time left. So, we can go back, check out last round. Port Adelaide got over the Western Bulldogs. Uh, Frio smashed the Roos. Um, Richmond got over the Pies. And Gold Coast produced a brilliant upset over Sydney. The Cats handled the Giants. The Lions smashed the Eagles. Uh, the Bombers come from behind, win to beat the Hawks. The Demons got over the Saints convincingly. Carlton smashed Adelaide. Round 10 right now. Uh, Carlton versus Sydney Marvel. That's going to be a good blockbuster now as well. Western Bulldogs versus Gold Coast at Mars. Could this be a different matchup compared to what we've seen in the past few years? Geelong versus Port Adelaide GMHBA. Hmm. Interesting. North Melbourne versus Melbourne uh, at Marvel. Yeah, no upset there. Adelaide versus St Kilda at Adelaide Oval. Big game just because of these two teams on uh, this week. And uh, Adelaide, two Saturday night games in a row at the Adelaide Oval. So lucky for them. Rich from Nesson, dream time at the G. Uh, GWS versus West Coast. Hawthorne versus Brisbane. And Fremantle versus Collingwood. So there's some pretty big, game next, some pretty big games in round 10 as well. But round 9 is what we're in now. Got some massive games in this round. Uh, but yeah, Western Bulldogs, Richmond, Port Adelaide, Geelong, Sydney, Brisbane, Fremantle, Carlton, Melbourne are my tips for the round. The latter, we may as well check that as well. So big moments. If Melbourne do somehow lose their first game of the year, then that does allow Brisbane and Fremantle to come and take their place. So, but again, don't see that happening. There is no chance Melbourne are losing this game. Um, the zero point, yeah, millions of zeros and then a little one. <laughs> no chance. Um, sorry, West Coast fans, but I just don't see West Coast being a chance in this game. Uh, and then Carlton, big for them because if one of Fremantle or Brisbane lose, they, they might win. Well, they should win and take their place. Geelong versus St Kilda, the winner, very important. Same as Collingwood versus Western Bulldogs as well. So there is plenty of endless opportunities for many results this round. But a big round of footy coming up. You guys can let me know your predictions in the comments section. Uh, so thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So then you guys will never miss another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. So bye everyone. Flaming footy out.